All right, welcome back everybody. My name is Heath. Thank you for checking out another episode of the H Squared Experience. Today, I have something else I'm pretty excited about. We're gonna be introducing you to my uh, newest hot tent stove. Uh, this one is gonna be from T Dan Show Outdoors. And uh, this is their newest, latest uh, 304 foldable stainless steel hot tent stove that they have. So uh, stick around and we're gonna take an initial look at this product. We'll be right back. All right guys, welcome back. So today we have the Danshaw Outdoors 304 stainless steel tent wood stove first look. This is their newest uh, tent stove that I've found. I can't find any good reviews on this, so I'm gonna try to give you guys a little information on this one today, uh, and we'll check it out. I will add the link to this one where you can purchase this one. I got this off of Amazon, and as of right now, this is the only location that you can get this product. They don't have an actual website. They use Amazon as their main source and location to uh, get their products just showed up so let's go ahead and get this thing open and take a look at it all right here you go this is what it comes in this is what it looks like when you get it let's see how it looks inside we have their carrying case comes with um, a set of gloves here that you can use uh, to roll your stove pipe Looks like uh, some sort of instructions here. Try to get a picture of that so you guys can see that. Ooh, does look nice. Here is how the stove comes right out of the box. So nice little package. Uh, Velcro strapped together. We do have a damper. This is gonna be the butterfly damper style. Um, so these are a little bit different than from some of their old ones. They had the insert damper style. Uh, as you can see, you can see there. Uh, has a collar with a connector to help put uh, hold everything together. Spark arrester with your uh, guy outs on that so you can tie that down and then here is going to be your actual uh stainless steel stove pipe which you'll roll up and we'll we'll try to roll that up here in just a second see how that goes i'm going to do the one person method uh, i'll probably set it up right here and we'll roll it out and see how it works out so we'll do a uh put that to the side and kind of let you guys get a shot of this so you guys can see everything that comes together in it. Part here. Nice straps. Goes down there. All right, so here's gonna be your top. It is got a full bend, but a reinforcement, if you will right here in this, so you don't have a bunch of reinforcement lines, but you do have one reinforcement where it is bolted together. So hopefully that'll help some of the warping on that. It's gonna be your main bottom piece. Side. Side panel here, side panel piece. So you can see, bottom. So these, these just fold right up. Uh, next we'll do is we'll take an insert for one of the side panels. And just slide right into place. Let's see if I can show you this side. Slides right up, slides right into place there. Top. And then once you have, you have 
one anchor point here that's going to slide right up. It's going to clamp that close. Very simple setup on the back side. Same thing. Right there. Bottom. Simply has four fold out legs. All in all, this thing is pretty sturdy. It doesn't want to fold the legs up. So let's just see how this damper goes on. Just line it up there and give her a twist. I think I'm going to line this up on the back side so this gives a little more room uh, for the damper to not catch anything. Once again, it's a spark arrestor here. We'll go on top of the stove pipe. Damper's on here. I've got it towards the back side so that way I have good access to the damper. She is pretty sturdy. Uh, this clamps on to the uh, stove pipe once you have it on there. Crank it down, that way it doesn't fall off. Okay. There you go. So now let's see if we can get this thing rolled up right. I'm going to roll it all the way up. What I like to do to get that roll out of it is actually turn it over, roll it all the way up one more time this way to help get the natural curl out of it. Start rolling from the side here. See if we can get it to start nice and smooth. And once we get this thing to start, we're going to grab our rings and put them on. as I fumble around here a little bit. Put them on, and then as we roll this up, we'll roll it, and we'll start sliding these rings up as we go. And as you can see, I'm no pro. Getting close, working it into shape here. Roll it, and now we have a ha ha stove pipe. Once we burn this on our first burn. This will help hold it into a pretty nice shape for us. That way for any of the future roll-ups, we'll be in a much better place. So um, let's go ahead. We want to take this out in the backyard and we'll set it all up and give it a burn. Be right back. All right, so now I'm out here, got some tinder. We're gonna go ahead and light the fire, get it started for the first time.
Let's go ahead and add some bigger pieces. See if we can get this thing rolling. So one of the things I want to point out here is that uh, this carabiner uh, does not come uh, with the stove. So I did add that, and what that's going to do is allow me to open and close the stove a little easier uh, if I didn't have gloves on to not burn my hands. The uh, front door uh, drafts uh, dampers here move very smoothly, and these allow tons of air to come through if you need to uh, get a lot of air going through to crank this thing wide open as well. So what I want to do here, and just do a little quick walk around so you can see it burning. Uh, just give you an idea of how she's looking. The smoke's rolling out pretty good after she's kicking up. Uh, she's been burning for about uh, probably an hour at this point. Uh, and uh, seems to be doing pretty well. Quick little walk around up and down. Um, is starting to change a little bit of color for us to uh, from that nice and shiny color that it was initially slowly it'll take a few more another long burn at least to, to get her uh, fully turned so what I want to point out here is if you look uh, this is stainless steel so since it's stainless steel, it is going to warp a little bit more than titanium would. And as you see, the uh, both side insert panels are a little bit warped. So what I want to point out here again is I want to stress, do not over tighten this clamp when you're putting it on your stove. I did talk to uh, Dancho Outdoors about this and they confirmed uh, this. You just want to snug this thing up when you're putting it on the uh, pipe at the bottom. If you crank it down and over tighten it, your stove is going to expand. And when it expands, what's going to happen is at that point, it's going to cause that stress on that screw where it's screwed in. And when that happens, it could cause that thing to strip out. So do not over tighten it. If for some reason you do over tighten it, what you can get are these uh, stainless steel hose clamps. Uh, they're fairly inexpensive. These are off Amazon, but you get them at Lowe's or Home Depot or your your local hardware store and you can use these to replace that if for some reason you do mess up and over tighten that thing. So one of the things I like to do when breaking in a stove is once I have the stove pipe rolled and set for one side what I'll do is I'll take it and I'll flip it. And if you'll notice on this one you can see that I've already done that and this one is already a bit patinaed here and I flipped it this was down at the bottom side and I flipped it and what was at the top is now at the bottom and what that'll do is that'll help us when we go back to unroll this when we're out in the field setting up camp this thing will roll a whole lot easier for us uh, when we get out there Alright guys, so I want to go ahead and give you my uh, few takeaways and tips on this stove. Again, I did add this carabiner that's going to help to uh, open and close this thing and not burn your hand or be worried about burning your hand as much. Dampers work great. Butterfly damper works well. Careful and not over tighten your clamp here uh, just so you don't have any issues with that thing in the future. If you do, you saw the uh, hose clamps that'll be a really good replacement for those. Uh, but if you don't tighten that thing down too much, you're not going to have any worries. The side panels and the top, uh, they do warp some, but I think going in knowing that this is a stainless steel stove and it'll warp more than a titanium stove, uh, you're going to be okay. I think you'll be able to bend it back and forth and get it back in there and it'll work fine for you over time. But only time will tell on this one for me. So this is, once again, just my initial thoughts, not an overall long-term review on this product. It goes together well, it comes apart well, folds up nice and neat in its case, and so far, I think it's a, a pretty decent product. They do have a titanium version as well, very similar to this, not exactly has different legs and stuff, but if you want a little less expensive model, 
and you're looking for the stainless steel, this thing is sturdy. Like I said, only time will tell, but I think it'll hopefully be an overall good product. Once again, thank you all for your time, and thank you guys for tuning in and watching this. Uh, hopefully I've answered some of your questions on this product. If you have any questions, leave them in the below uh, comment section. I'll try to answer anything I can for you. But until next time, y'all, get out there, go have some fun, do something crazy. Take care, y'all.